Cancer Survivors Day is commemorated on the 7th of June every year. And on this day, we raise awareness for cancer, thinking of those who are currently suffering and celebrate with those who are cancer free. Now from playing schoolboy rugby to varsity cup, and now he's hoping to get his chance to play for the Springbok 7 squad. Ronald Brown always had dreams of a career in rugby, but in April 2019, this dream came to a halt after he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now this is a form of cancer of the lymphatic system which affects the immune system in the entire body and he's successfully made a full recovery and is now a cancer survivor. The rugby player joins us this morning to share his story as we celebrate Cancer Survivors Day. Ronald, how are you doing this morning, my man? Hi, Ronald. No, good, good in yourself. Ah, oh, so, so good having you in the studio this morning. Now, Ronald, hearing the words, you have cancer, must have been so overwhelming and terrifying, but when and how did you find out you have cancer? Yeah, uh, well, it was, it was a tough, tough one hearing all of those words, and it was terrifying, you know. Um, I found out I was diagnosed on the 13th of April, um, but how I found out was I had this uh, little pain in my chest where I couldn't sleep at night and all of that, and then I took medication for it. Um, Went to, to talk to the team, Dr. Lee Gordon. Um, she obviously um, examined me and sent me for tests and all of that. And then, yeah, it came about on the 13th of April that, that I was diagnosed with, with heart cancer lymphoma. Wow, oh, man, such a, such a huge thing to take in. But when you heard those words, what went through your mind? I mean, did you ever think that you could play rugby again, even? Yeah, when I heard those words, I went blank. Like, I couldn't say anything, I couldn't speak. And, uh, yeah, I was just looking at my doctor, you know, for answerings and, 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 and something positive to, to come out of it. And, um, yeah, no, at the time, I didn't think I was able to play rugby again because um, with no background about cancer and all of that, I was expecting the worst, you know. So I wasn't thinking about rugby at that moment. Oh, I can you imagine? That must be such a devastating thing to kind of just even conceive and try and make sense of it. But when it actually did occur, what kind of treatment did you undergo and how did you find the strength to go to your treatments every single week? I had uh, chemo. I received chemo in, in radiation therapy. Um, I received it every, every Thursday, every second Thursday. Yeah, and obviously with, with my family and friends, you know, um, supporting me through this difficult time. And, and also I must give my heads up to the management of the blood swaps and, and all the teammates, you know, they've been there supporting me through this. And, and yeah, it helped me a lot, kept me positive, you know. Um, also, uh, my faith, you know, I have to, like, you know, you can't do anything without the Lord. And I stayed on my knees and, and just kept on fighting, you know. And, yeah, mentally, this got more tougher and... and and, and yeah, you know, um, I was ready for all the changes, you know, that, that cancer was going to bring my side, you know, physically, um, mentally, you know, so it's just mentally tough, you know. Oh man, absolutely incredible. Having such a great support system as well must help. But when you actually found out that you were cancer free, oh, what a feeling, man. But how did you celebrate that moment? Uh, so. The 1st of October was my last season with the radiation team. Um, so in that week, the 3rd, I was cleared. I went to the doctor for a checkup and everything, we ran tests and everything. So I was cleared on the 3rd. And then, yeah, obviously with, with prayer, you know, I, I thank the Lord for, for guiding me through through all of this and, you know, protecting me and, and bringing me out to the other side, you know. Um, and then with friends and family, you know, gathering because they were there the, from the beginning and, and now they're standing with me, you know, celebrating this at the end. Ah, oh, Ronald, what an incredible moment to cherish. Now, how soon after knowing you are cancer-free did you return to training and have you been able to reach your fitness goals again yet? Yeah, oh, man, I wanted to return, you know, ASAP, the next day if I could. But um, obviously they uh, put me on a program, you know, to like integrate me into, into training and everything because I wasn't as fit, you know, I lost a lot of muscle, uh, a lot of weight, you know, um, so I had to like rebuild this and rebuild my strength to be able to be, compete at that level. Um, so yeah, um, it took me quite a while to reach my fitness goals, um, but yeah, I did achieve and I did, did get there at the end and yeah, I was more determined than ever after, we, you know, fighting and beating cancer. Oh, it's just incredible. Now, you are officially a cancer survivor, but how are you living your life differently and why might you be doing that? Yeah, well, 
well, before before uh, cancer, I didn't really have a, a bad, li- an healthy lifestyle. Um, so I wouldn't say there was a lot of major adjustments, although there was some sugar that I cut out, you know, um, because of because of uh, the stigma going around that, um, you know, cancer cells and sugar doesn't go uh, very well together. And then, yeah, I think spiritually, definitely um, more focused, you know, um, definitely more on my knees, you know, spending time with the Lord in, in you know, fighting if you better on my knees, you know. Um, obviously, obviously more positive, you know, because after beating cancer, I don't think anything can get me down right now. And obviously more grateful, you know, loving every moment as it comes and, you know, enjoying every moment. So, yes. Wow, Ronald, you are truly an inspiration to me and I think everybody else out there watching you right now. But would you have any advice that you could give to others who are currently suffering from cancer? You can just surround yourself with positive people um, and stay in your knees, you know, through all of this, through all of the fight that you are fighting, in, you know, um, in your duty, do your best and God will do the rest, as they say. Uh, but you are living proof of how to just combat some of the biggest obstacles that one can get put in front of them. So it is an absolutely incredible, inspiring story, Ronald. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. And make sure the rest of you stay tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast show as our cancer survivor and rugby player, Ronald Brown, will be showing us how to train like a sevens rugby player and you do not want to miss it. <laughs>